Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I am sharing a Whole Foods grocery haul. Now, you all have been asking for this video for quite some time, so I'm gonna wait here patiently while you go ahead and you give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead. Okay, so let me show you how I rock the trip to Whole Foods. The very first thing I do is I check out my cell phone because I have the Whole Foods app downloaded there and it shows all the sales and all the coupons they have going on for the week. So if you don't already have that app downloaded, definitely check it out. A few of the deals that I was able to take advantage of this week were $5 off of $20 or more of the produce. So I saved $5 on my fruits and veggies, which was awesome. I was able to save some money on my pastured organic eggs, organic yogurt, and I also got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs on sale as well. And that is one thing I'm always on the lookout for, which is a good high quality meat on sale because then I will bulk buy it and then I store it myself. I'll show you how I do that in a little bit. And that is a great way to save some money without compromising on the quality of food that I want to be feeding myself and my family. So let's dive into what we've got going on here. So whenever I'm at the grocery store, I always stick to the outskirts of the grocery store. That is where you're going to find the real whole unprocessed, clean and delicious food items, right? So I always start in the produce section. Now at home, we like to cut up a crudite every week, which means we just cut up a bunch of raw veggies. And I tend to stick to the same things with that. So what I usually stick in my crudite and what I bought here was some fennel, some celery, carrots, radishes, cauliflower, and broccoli. And I will wash that all, dry it up, and then I line my container with a paper towel and chop all the veggies and they are ready to go for the week. I've shared some videos in the past on how I like to use those veggies for the week, but the options are really endless and I find having them prepped and ready to go is the key to making sure that we eat them all. Now, outside of my crudite, I also like to have some leafy greens prepped and ready to go. So I usually buy some type of pre-washed bin of greens, like I have here, the baby spinach. Those are great grab and go if I wanna throw them into scrambled eggs or if we wanna throw them into a smoothie. And then I also have some kale, which I will wash and dry, stem and chop up, so that is also prepped and ready to go. Again, it's good for a quick salad. You can throw it into your eggs, you can throw it into your smoothies. If I need a quick side dish for dinner, I'll saute it up with some garlic and olive oil. So half of the battle is having this food ready to go in the fridge, especially the veggies. Um, outside of that, I also picked up some asparagus. I have some beautiful Brussels sprouts, which are super in season right now. A few cucumbers, which I like to throw in salads and my kids also love in their lunch boxes. I have a couple of avocados, some bell peppers, some rainbow baby potatoes, and an onion. As for my fruit, I picked up some apples and some oranges. Both are super in season right now. I also grabbed some bananas because we have bananas in the house all year round. And a nice big bag of lemons because that is great in your water, in your tea. I like to use it for salad dressings. And really a lemon will brighten up just about any dish. So I always like to keep lemons on hand. Now, I just want to also mention that number one, you guys know I do this for a living. So we tend to have a lot of food in the house at all times. And I do supplement everything you'll see here with the farmer's market or Trader Joe's or Costco, depending on the week. So this is just a snapshot. Okay. So let's see next, let's do our meat. Whenever I am grocery shopping, one thing that I'm always on the lookout for is some good high quality organic or pastured meat that is on sale. This way I can maintain the quality of food that I want to be feeding myself and my family, but I also can stay somewhat budget friendly, right? So what I found this week was boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I was super excited because in our house, that is a family favorite. I have lots of dishes I like to make with them. I'm going to show you one in a few minutes. Um, basically what I will do to make this meat go the long haul, I bought six pounds, which for our family is about four meals. So I open up the packages that it comes in and then I will reseal them. I vacuum seal them with my food saver. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with a food saver, it basically just vacuum seals your food so it can last a lot longer. It will last up to five times longer, no freezer burn, tastes fresh as the day that it came. So here's all I do. I grab one of the bags that comes with the food saver. I put half of my chicken in there. So this is half of the chicken from one package. Then I just slip the unsealed side right into this area here, put it into the drip tray, push this button with my two fingers. You hear that noise? That is the machine pulling all of the air out of the bag. 
Once it's done, that little red light goes on, it seals the bag, and check this out. My chicken is now ready for the freezer and it will go the long haul. So I just write the date on the bag, what's in the bag, and then I pop this in the freezer. And then during the week, when I need a quick meal, whether it's next week or six months from now, I can go in my freezer, I pull out my chicken, I'll let it defrost in the fridge overnight, and then I might make a really simple meal like my one pan chicken, potato, and veggies. Here's what you do, guys. Grab a rimmed baking sheet, spray it with a little bit of cooking spray so nothing sticks. Then I would lay out my chicken thighs, so I have six of them here. I have a pound of baby rainbow potatoes that I've cut in half, sprinkle those around the tray along with one chopped onion and a couple of chopped up bell peppers. That's it. Then to season it, I do some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of smoked paprika. FYI, you could literally use any type of seasonings that you like. This happens to be a family favorite in my house. Then we pop the whole tray in the oven for 25, 30 minutes at 425 degrees, and you've got a one pan dinner ready to go. A lot of times I will either set this up in the morning or at the night before, and then if I'm not home, the babysitter can throw it in the oven or my husband can throw it in the oven, and I know that I have a clean and delicious meal ready for the family, even on the busiest night. Next up, I have my eggs. I love these. Um, pastured, raised, organic eggs. Um, I also bought one little package of this uh, cheddar cheese. This is just a cheese that everybody loves and I'll just, a lot of times we'll cut that up and we'll eat it with some apples as a snack or when the kids come home from school, I'll give them some veggies and apples and cheese or maybe some crackers. So it's a nice little thing to have on hand. Um, I also bought a little bit of turkey. That's just for easy sandwiches and stuff, for lunch boxes. And in the back here, we have our organic Greek yogurt, which is a 2% yogurt. I tend to go 2% or full fat, but by all means, do what you fancy. Then over here, I've got some Medjool dates. I actually got those in the produce section as well. I love buying those this time of year because I love to use those in different recipes when I'm baking. I try to make like a homemade crust or a raw crust, so I'm gonna be doing some experimenting with that. But these are also great if you want to curb a sweet tooth naturally. If you find you have a real strong sweet tooth, try incorporating more root veggies, more naturally sweet foods like dates and bananas into your diet and see if that doesn't help take the edge off a little. I think dates are delicious when you want a little something, but you want to stick to real whole foods. Then they had some do-it-yourself peanut butter, which is so fun and so delicious. It's just peanuts, you hit the button, beautiful fresh peanut butter. You could also do almond butter if you wanted. Uh, that's another one, great for a sandwich, great on toast, great on a banana or on some peanut butter. I love sometimes mixing it into my yogurt. If you want a real rib sticker, do a little bit of peanut butter into your yogurt with some like cut up strawberries or apples, delish. Then I have my beloved Ezekiel bread. I'm always talking about Ezekiel bread. And uh, it's just a whole grain sprouted bread. Great, it makes a great piece of toast, my friends. And then over here, I bought some wheat berries. Now, oftentimes when we're doing our meal prep on the weekend, I like to pick one good high quality carbohydrate to cook in bulk and leave in the refrigerator. So I thought this week I would do some wheat berries. And what I did is I go to the bulk bins for this stuff. Another great way to save a few bucks, guys, when you are at the grocery store. Whole Foods almost always has that bulk bin section. You can get your oats, you can get grains, you can get nuts and seeds. I highly recommend using that section to get what you can because it does bring down the costs. Okay, now finishing up, we have a few things from the refrigerator section and then from the middle aisle. So I picked up this kimchi, which is basically like a spicy cabbage slaw, high in probiotics, natural probiotics, so it's good for the gut, good for immunity. I've never tried it before, so this is kind of like a new fun item that I'm looking forward to eating. And then I also picked up a couple of these Kavitas, which are sparkling probiotic drinks. So another one that's good for the gut, good for immunity. I picked up turmeric ginger and edelberry. These were on sale two for five. So I love to leave these in the fridge and we don't really take them out and drink the whole bottle. I'll pour a little in my kid's cup or my husband and I, I'll take a small glass so we kind of stretch them, make them go the long haul. Um, I also picked up some hummus. I always like to keep hummus in the house for that crudite, just a great little snack. And if you're a local, I picked up some pre-made veggie chili. This is by a company called Big Red House. We love this 
chili. Um, at our local farmer's market, they actually serve this hot, so you can buy it hot on a chilly day, and it's topped with um, some shredded cheddar cheese and some avocado. So I like to buy this at home. My kids love it, my husband and I love it. Sometimes I'll even stick it in lunch boxes, like if I'm really short on time. So it's just a fun pre-made item to have in the house. Then, now you'll notice, I don't have a ton of stuff from the middle aisles. I really don't buy a lot in the middle. If, however, you watched my Trader Joe's grocery haul, that's where I go a little hog wild on the middle aisles. So you guys can check that out if you wanna see me go crazy in the middle aisles. But for Whole Foods, keeping it super clean. But what I did get, however, is I recently discovered this. It's called Cucina Antica. It's a tomato sauce. These were also on sale. And so I picked up two jars of them. This is the best jarred tomato sauce I have ever tried. It's very fresh tasting. It's bright and vibrant. It only has three grams of sugar per serving, which for tomato sauce is very good. So I like to keep those stocked up. And since they were on sale, that was a double win-win. And then I picked up a package of these thin brown rice cakes. I love these because they're super thin. So you can make um, your toppings and you take a few of them rather than one big fat one. So it makes you feel like you get to eat more, which is always a win in my book. Um, I also picked up these brown rice crackers. This is a vegetable flavor, so it has a little bit of seasoning on the outside that makes it really yummy. Again, great for a snack, great with some cheese, great with some hummus. I like to stick them in my kids' lunch boxes, good with a little bit of soup. They're just very yummy, crunchy deliciousness. And then the last thing I bought was some unsweetened almond milk. And I always usually get the 365 brand. I usually just use this for my smoothies or if I'm baking, I'll use some almond milk as well. And then last but not least are just a couple items that I got from the freezer. I love to have these um, lightly breaded fish sticks. They are so delicious. They're just fish sticks that are lightly breaded. You throw them in like a 425 degree oven and they're crunchy and they're great. And when you really, really just don't want to step foot in the kitchen and you're done, but you got to get dinner on the table, I think this is better than ordering out. So I'll do this, and if I'm really not feeling it, I'll just chop up some cucumbers or something, call it dinner for my kids, or I'll get some frozen brown rice and serve that together. It's really like, you got to have those five-minute meals on hand. you got to have those options if you want to stay sane. And then last but not least, I also bought, and I picked these up again because they were on sale, two frozen Amy's pizzas. One is made with a rice crust and one is a regular pizza with mushroom and olive. And you know, I just like to have stuff like this on hand because I have kids, they're five and seven, their friends come over, they get hungry, and sometimes you just have to have something fun and friendly and delicious for everybody to eat and enjoy. And so that's where these usually come into play. And because they were on sale, I just had to grab a couple. And so my friends, there you have a Whole Foods grocery haul in the clean and delicious kitchen. This is pretty much what a snapshot of a week would look like. And I probably saved about 18 to $20 by using the sales and the coupons. So don't forget to download the app before you go grocery shopping so that you can find where you can cut and save, right? And use those other tips too, buy in bulk, and bulk buy your high quality meats as well so you can store those once you get them home. FYI, if you wanna learn anything else about the Food Saver, I will leave a link down in the description box below so you can learn about that. And so now I wanna hear from you. Do you shop at Whole Foods? And if so, what are some of your favorite WF buys? Come on down into the comments below and please do share. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. A lot of times when we do our food prep on the weekend, I will choose, sorry, I got itch. Okay, so a lot of times. So a lot of times, a lot of times when we have like an incessant, incessant, incessant sweet tooth, if that's a word. And so my friends, that is a, oh, poop. And so my friends, that is what 